Kern County officials predicted a big turnout for Tuesday's meeting about the future of petroleum production in the heart of California's oil patch, and they were right. A little more than 1,000 Kern County residents showed up to give support and have their opinions heard at the Board of Supervisors building. Prior to the meeting, Environmental Justice Group, Center for Race, Poverty, and the Environment held a press conference outside for what it calls a just transition away from oil and gas dependence towards a more diverse economy. A few members in attendance spoke to the media and gave their input on what needs to be done. Uh, I think we want to bring a message today to the Board of Supervisors that we all need to be working toward the same goals. Uh, that is a prosperous future for Kern County with economic justice for its residents that we all want to live in a safe and healthy environment. I'm here because Kern County is highly dependent on naturally declining oil and gas. We are losing jobs naturally. Governor Newsom is giving us the opportunity to have a seat at the table with millions of dollars to invest in new opportunities in Kern County. After the press conference, hundreds of residents waited in line to get inside the building at a chance for their concerns and voices to be heard. A couple of residents gave their thoughts on what they would like to hear and what they hope will be an outcome in the meeting. I think today is a really great opportunity, an exercise in democracy, where all parties can come together with an equal seat at the table and have a real discussion about the future of our community, the future of the economy, the future of community health and um, make sure that we're prioritizing um, everything that needs to be prioritized in this discussion, right? Well, I'd, I'd really like the state to actually calculate the emissions related to importing oil because when they shut in production here, it means we're gonna import a barrel until we actually do go to renewables. And we're on that path, but to import oil, there's emissions related to ships. The ships come 11,800 miles. They emit more socks. Then the cars uh, on the way here, then the cars do when they burn that cargo. And they emit almost as much NOx. And California doesn't count those emissions in the bubble. So when the governor is talking about reducing emissions, he's really not thinking globally at all. Yeah. It's really a bad policy for the environment. And I just think it's, it needs to be brought forward. I'm here to support the industry. It's been good for me. I mean, I've been in the industry for 30 some odd years. It's been good, um, so I'm here to support them. To find out what the outcome of Tuesday's meeting was, make sure to check out Bakersfield.com for John Cox's story or grab a copy of Wednesday's paper.